Hello, I am Ashley Michaud, the founder of Elemental Growth. And I'm going live today because there was a bunch of things going on in my mind, tons of stuff that I wanted to share with you, different epiphanies that I was having. And I just felt that it was time to put it all together in one quick short video for you and uh, to do that live so that it can reach more of you. <laughs> all right. So hi, Moana. My cat loves whenever I go on camera, she gets very vocal. She wants to be a part of it. So I do apologize. Um, yeah, back on track here. Uh, the first thing that I want to tell you is that diet is a bio individual thing. There is a reason why your friend's diet didn't work for you. And why a diet that was working for you may have stopped as you aged or as your environment changed, things like that. So that is number one. Your diet is your own. You are made up of specific chemicals that are to get you to where it is that you need to go in this lifetime. Some of that includes uh, your gender, your uh, your geographic location, you know, where is it that you're, you're from? Where are your ancestors from? What did they eat? And then, of course, there's all the parts that make you, you. So the key to dieting is not another diet book. The key to dieting is figuring out who you are and what unique dietary needs you and your body need and are looking for. Sometimes it may not be always removing foods, sometimes it's adding in other foods as well, you know, um, maybe there's a deficiency somewhere. So you need to add in some superfoods or supplements, different things like that. So that is number one. Number two, as we talk about, um, about diet, let's talk about, and I mentioned supplements too, you know, let's talk about one of my favorite things. And that is that food and medicine is free. I even created a Facebook group called Free Food and Medicine like a long time ago. I love the hashtag food is free. If you ever follow that or see that on Instagram or Facebook, food is free, you guys. You can garden it, garden the way that most people do. You can do a permaculture garden. You can forage from nature. You can um, re -har harvest seeds from organic produce, grow your own food. You can take cuttings from herbs um, and even some other organic vegetables and grow your own. This is actually how I got into nutrition in the first place. I, I, I got myself sober, which meant changing around my diet and other parts of my lifestyle. And when I did that, I started learning about nutrition, what was in the food, and what my unique body needed. And I realized that most of the food we're eating today is dead food. Uh, by dead food, I mean there's no life force energy in it, you guys. If you're buying something from a can or from a box, there's no life force energy in there. And even some of the produce um, or bulk foods that you may get, you know, nuts, seeds, that kind of stuff, some of that is still dead too. Some of it is not only stagnant, but, um, but, but no good anymore because of either the length that it's been on the shelf or the process used to grow that food. Uh, so what I did was I spent a year um, going to my bulk bar and going to my local grocery stores and I would grow everything. If I couldn't regrow it, um, like for instance, like taking a sweet potato, I put the sweet potato, um, half of it emerged into some water. If it grew some roots and grew three or more leaves in a short amount of time, then I knew that that food from that grocery store was good for me to eat. I knew that, um, yeah, I, I always, I like, <laughs> I always had good experiences with, uh, bulk barn was a good one, even though not everything is organic. And another good one that I had, um, experience with was a farmer's market. It was always so fresh, so vibrant. Um, and of course it's sourced locally. So the nutrition, um, 
is usually at its peak because it didn't have to ship anywhere. You know, the gardeners went out, uh, harvested it that morning, brought it to the market. So it, those are just some things to keep in mind. Food is free. You don't have to spend all of this money on organic, healthy foods all the time. Um, there are other options. And as I said, foraging, you know, you, wild food grows everywhere. You'd be in disbelief if you looked out your window and saw <laughs> what foods are growing right there and medicines that you probably need. Um, maybe this is a little bit hippy dippy for some of you, uh, but a herbology secret, one of the things I learned when, um, when I was studying herbology is that the medicine that we need or we require usually does grow in proximity to us. Um, so people having liver problems who really need a detox because of environmental issues or because of, um, of whatever else that they're eating in their life. Or if they're heavy drinkers, you know, dandelions are going to grow on their lawn. Um, that's just one example. You know, clovers for women with hormonal issues and, and so on. There are tons. Um, willow for people who take who, who need pain management or, um, or to thin out their blood a little bit. So, um, yeah, <laughs> let's go into some more here. Um, when we're talking about sickness and healing and those kind of things, you know, the doctors, the energy healers, um, the psychiatrists, the psychics, nobody is going to tell you the real secret. And that is that you heal yourself. Everything else is just a placebo. You and your body are the ones who heal themselves. Once you get out of your own way, the body and the body's natural processes can do its own thing, which is heal you and work optimally. And most of that unconscious, you don't even have to be thinking about it. In fact, when you stop thinking about it and only think about your own self care and your own self love, and think about how you can give back to other people and think about all the things that you're grateful for, and you start getting out of your own way, then you're going to heal yourself. You're going to give your body everything that it needs. All that other kind of nu nutrition that doesn't come from the food. You're going to get all of that um, and, um, and be able to heal yourself. And in return, heal some others because you're going to get passionate about this and you're going to want to share that little secret that nobody else is telling you. Uh, the last one I want to talk on today doesn't really have anything to do with food, nutrition, <laughs> medical, nothing like that. Um, but I found it also very important to talk about here uh, because we're talking about things that nobody else will tell you. And that is education is a scam. You know, getting smart is not L knowing and learning about the things that you're passionate about that is that is genius and that is really really good and those are the things that you should empower but the educational system today the way that elementary school and um and high school and college and university the way that all of these programs are set up in my opinion should be illegal because it's such a money sucker, especially in North America here. You know, there are um, a, some, a, some places across seas where uh, education is free. And I do believe that education should be free to everybody. That being said, you know, unless you're investing, so um, investing your energy, sometimes in the form of money, you're not going to get the same value. Uh, but they don't need to suck us dry, <laughs> which is why... Um, you know, after hospitality, which I am still paying for, I did a hospitality and tourism um, education program through a college. Um, but after that, I didn't want to invest any more money into education. So instead, what I did was um, took a friend's syllabus, and I filled in all the blanks with all of the things that I was passionate about, all the things that I wanted to learn about. And I did that for a year, uh, just as a challenge for myself. And after that year, I ended up uh, enrolling in a school that did align with my values, and that is the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. And 
when I did that, it, that investment felt really, really good. And not only that, I didn't have to take out a hefty student loan for this one um, or, or anything like that. In fact, when I graduated, I already had clients. So I was able to uh, pay off school while I was in school. Unlike when I did hospitality and tourism, even though I was making money, I was still, um, I wasn't making money from the college, but I did have side jobs working in the industry. Um, and that money went back into that lifestyle of eating out at restaurants and having a drink after work and partying with friends. Um, it didn't go back into my business. It didn't go into my dreams or my future or anything like that. I think part of that was because I was uh, young and naive and just going with the flow of what everybody else was doing. Um, but an, uh, but you know, that's why they get you. They get you when you're young. They, they get you by telling you that there's no other way. That this is something that you have to have to do if you want to succeed in life. And I just find that very untrue. Um, but, you know, um, this is just some of the things that nobody else is telling you and I want to share with you today. All right, you guys. Um, I love you all so much. Sorry about that. I gotta. <laughs> um, but yeah, if there's anything else that you want to talk about or know or um, or maybe there's other questions you want to dig deeper into some of these subjects or there's something that you do want to know about and you just want to hear it from me, uh, please leave it in the comments below or you can reach out to me at elementalgrowth.org. I love you all so much and I wish you the best.